What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Tia Laron. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an Afro beat that's like very smooth. You probably hear somebody like Tyke on it, maybe um, Davey One on it, but yeah, we're gonna get straight into it though. No time wasting. Let's get it. All right, so for our first sound, we got this harp from Nexus, right? It's called the Baza Guitar Dream. Um, it's like a guitar slash harp thing. It sounds more like a harp to me, but yeah, it sounds like this. So it's actually, it's, it's pretty simple once you break it down, right? So I'm gonna show you how I made it and make some similar and yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start in G minor, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is that, I think I'm gonna make like a, a G minor knife chord, so. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and strum the notes out to make it to a, into a nice sounding pattern. Now I'm gonna copy this over and have it to where um, the second note plays on the, the actual beat. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take out some of the notes. Right, so then now I'm gonna go ahead and have like a passing note and then copy this whole thing over. Take this down probably to an A. So now we're almost there. So then next, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this like a uh, F sharp, so where it's like it sounds more uh, tension feel. That makes sense because you know it's not in the skip. So then pretty much then I'm gonna go, I will go ahead and press all R to make the velocities, you know, more um, very. And then, uh, yeah, and then play like a different pitch. For effects, I just had an EQ on it to cut out some of the lows. Um, and Nexus itself, I feel like that the effects is pretty cool for real. It already had reverb on it for real, so it was, you know, it ain't much in my opinion. So for the next song, right, a lot of times for my Afro beats, I like to add in an uh, electric piano into the background. So that's what I did. So we got this uh, piano, this rose from Expand. It's the Mark II rose from Expand. It sounds like this. So when making this pretty much, um, these is all like the same chords from the uh, from the heart, but it's just not strum right, because the um, the notes was basically played um, in their their chord forms so that makes sense. So pretty much right now we have a, a C sharp minor chord to a B major chord to an F sharp minor chord. Uh, these notes is just you know strummed out. So so pretty much if I was like to put the um, the notes back in the harp back into a chord form, it would pretty much like be the same thing as this one right here. But of course, you know, I added some extra notes to give it some more variation to it, like right here. It just helps transition the melody to the next part that makes sense. So for that, I have a Magic Switch, which is a free chorus plugin. Then an EQ to cut out a little bit of the 250 range, which is usually where uh, muddiness might sit at in the, uh, and a piano. Next, I went to contact to the uh, session strings and I grabbed this violin and I played this pattern right here. I played it by ear, so yeah.
So for that, just to ROM, which is like my little, it's my go-to reverb plugin. It's, it's real fire for real. Like you should definitely get it. The reverb, it's just, it's just way too nice to not get it. Um, but for that, I, I put a dip in a high frequency range. So it wasn't like as bright for real. I want it for it to sit more in the background. Um, I also have a low octave two plan just for some more variation. Next, I use this mallet for the verse, you know, just to give it, you know, some more variation. But uh, it's a small kalimba from Expand. And um, I pretty much like just took the chords from the, uh, from the rows and just played it in staccato, um, in the staccato way pretty much. And that's what I got right here. So yeah, it's not really much to that for real. Like I said, just copy and paste and press, you know, shift D to make the note shorter. And yeah, for that, I have on a delay to give it some more bounce and then a ROM to give it, you know, some more of that airiness to it. So then next we got a bell from Expand, the old Celeste bell. This is like for like the one part of the course, just to give it some more sparkle to it. But yeah, it sounds like this. So yeah, that one, I just played it by ear. Like I just, I just basically clicked in notes that sounded good with the melody and until I got this right here. So not really much to explain there. For that one, I have on a Magic Dice, uh, which is it's basically a random effect generator. Without it, it sounds like this. Then we got a pancake to make it go between the, uh, both of your ears. For then next we got this um, vocal from Arcade from Distant Voices. It's like, it sounds like a vocal, but also sounds more like a texture to it. But yeah, it sounds like this. Yeah, like it sounds like somebody getting possessed for real, you know. I mean, it, 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 it was cool, you know, I like it. But yeah, so for the melody, we got this right here. So let's go on to the drums then. So first, I start off with the shaker loop from the Miraculous Beats drum kit. And I like this shaker loop because like, you know, as you can hear, it has percussion loop, it has percussions in it already. So I don't have to do as much work for real. Cause when it comes to Afro beats, I'm not the best with adding a, per with adding a percussion in it just yet. But I'm gonna get better though for sure. But yeah, so then next I added in the kick. Um, it sounds like this. Very simple. Next we got this snare. Yeah, so I was going for a uh, tyke slash baby one type feeling for real. So all, like, it kind of sounds a little bit R and B ish for real. It's like I feel a mix of R and B, but yeah. So the next we got this other snare to also get the kick some more power and just to accent the other snare too, so. Right? We got this other snare just to give it an accent. Right? And then we got a hi-hat, which it, you know, you're not gonna hear as much, but it gives us some extra bounce to the, uh, to the drums. Right. 
Um, and then, you know, my favorite part of Afro Beats is the log drum. Like, uh, I love using this log drum from the log drum VST. Because like, it sounds like a very hard bass for real, in my opinion. But, yeah, this one sounds like this. Yeah, that was just like too hard for real. Um, when you put it with the kick, you know, it's it's, it's real nice. Um, like I said, I, I, lo I love using these for real. Sometimes it's better to use this rather than the sub bass because like it has like a whole different feeling to it. But yeah, and of course, you know, we got feels. They got the usual, you know, Afrobeat stuff. We got the feel, we got the feels, the reverb claps, the things like that for it that, you know, you know how to do probably, but yeah. So the full beat, you know, you get this right here. But yeah, man, that's it for the video. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and learned something from it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all my socials, you know what I mean? Make some good beats, and yeah, be a good person too. Yeah, peace.